Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and I have a neat review for you today. It's the UDI RC U18A. Now, this quadcopter has been out for quite a while, but I never really got a chance to review it, and I wanted to try it out myself. Um, if you look at it, um, it is very well protected quadcopter. You can tell right away this is intended for as a beginner's learn to fly quadcopter. Mainly, it's it's got very good protect, protection of its uh, blades. Um, you can bump into objects, bump into things uh, with no problem, more or less, with this particular quadcopter without worrying about damaging anybody and with l worrying or l lessening the chance of damaging your props in the process. This quadcopter also comes with a camera. Now, it's not a super great camera. Well, actually. It is a 0.3 megapixel, but it produces very, very nice video for a 0.3 megapixel. I'm surprised how well, how good the quality is from this little camera. Um, the range on this isn't predicted to be very far. I believe it was just 40 meters. We're going to try that out here today. i got plenty of room to fly it out and see what happens if I lose uh, transmission on it. But uh, all in all, you know, this quadcopter appears to be based on the early... I don't know if any of you remember the early Ladybird quadcopters and the WL Toys V202, V212, V222 with the carbon fiber uh, arms. Well, this one is similarly based on that. Um, again, this quadcopter has been out for a while, well over a year. So, you know, it's obvious it's probably going to be based on other quadcopters or similar to other quadcopters. But let's go for flight of the UDIRC. Um, before we do, let's go over the features of the transmitter. This is your flip button. This is your lighting button. Excuse me, there's a horse fly on my arm. <laughs> um, also, you can do th automatic flips with this one by pressing this button, it'll automatically flip by, but by pressing this button, you can tell which direction to flip prior to flipping. Um, this app operates your camera, activates your ca uh, video camera. This button activates photos, and this button you can select low and high rate with. Uh, and other buttons here, the trim buttons actually work. So you've got throttle trim, you got yaw trim, you got pitch and roll trim, and uh, yeah, pitch and roll trim. <laughs> now it's a little breezy today. We're gonna see how well this flies in the breeze. I got a feeling it's gonna have a hard time fighting this breeze, but what I'm going to try to do is send it upwind and then let it uh, blow back toward me. And that way we can get some nice video from this particular quadcopter. So plugging in the battery. Battery is plugged in. Now this old quadcopter, you know, it's an older quadcopter. It does not have headless mode. So don't expect that. Okay, we got bind. And I'm going to turn on the camera right now because we're going to take off with the camera. Hope you enjoy this flight. Going to high mode. Go away, horse fly, you bother me. Sending it upwind. Let's see how far it goes before I lose transmission. Okay, putting it in and doing a rotate of the area. Now it's easy to maintain orientation on it because the front of this quadcopter has got those horns on it. <laughs> Actually a nice little flyer, very stable. Very, very stable flyer. Sending it back upwind again. Putting it back into rotation. Of the area. Okay, this time let's send it up higher. Pouring up wind. Give it a little more throttle. actually seems to have a lot more than 40 meters range. <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about there. This is about about 60 right now. Okay, putting it into hover. Boy, there's a wind up there. <laughs> okay, rotating. And doesn't seem to be much wind right there. I'm well about 100 meters, so the range on this is a lot more than than 40 meters. I don't know what they're talking about there. So I'm coming down in a rapid descent because I was way up there. Let's send it down the road this time. You know, even with <laughs> even with this uh, ring around it, it flies pretty darn well. 
nice quadcopter, the 18. Hello there. <laughs> now it's not very maneuverable. I'll, 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 let's give it that. It's that's the funnels it can do. I'm turning off the camera to save battery power. Ooh, I should have watched where I was going. <laughs> ah, but didn't matter. It went right into a rock. Didn't care. <laughs> the, those protective arms on it are very darn good. It's fighting the breeze. Going upwind again. Let's take it out over those that area there. Turn the camera on again. Rotate. Let the wind blow it back. Nice little quad. Very good beginner's quad. Beginners would love this. I wonder if that camera's coming out nice. <laughs> we'll find out in post-production here. Down in the gully there. Got quite a bit of uh, flight time out of this uh, battery that comes with it. Went overhead. That's the wind blowing it by me, folks. There is a good breeze here. I'm not seeing any blinking on the lights, so it still has plenty of battery power. Turning off the camera. No, let's, I'll turn off the camera when it comes down. I want you to see over the pinnacles there. Yeah, this has good range. I'm, I'm guessing about 100 meters. So the, um, I don't know what the deal is with the uh, 40 meters that they advertise. It is not 40 meters, folks. <laughs> this is close to 100. Okay, camera off. Let's bring it in close so you can see it. It's trying to fight this breeze here. There is a strong breeze going on right now. And the breeze is getting stronger. It's flying backwards. Let's get down in this gully here. Maybe I can uh, avoid that breeze. I'm sure if you took off this uh, prop guards, you could fly in higher winds. But right now, this is about the, the strongest you can fly it in. There it is going by me, folks. UDI U18A. It's fighting a breeze. <laughs> here at Trona Pinnacles. Still got plenty of flight time left in it. I wonder if I got... Oh no, I don't have plenty of flight time. There it is. <laughs> I, I didn't get a chance to flip it, I'm sorry. But, pretty neat quadcopter. I like it because of its camera. Again, its its camera seems to be relatively... Uh, let's see if this one will spin in the wind too for me. <laughs> see, I wasn't kidding about that breeze. But uh, its camera, yes, it, uh, it's a 0.3 megapixel, but it's uh, pretty darn sharp for being a 0.3 megapixel. So overall, I kind of like this quadcopter. So again, UDI U18A here at the Toronto Pinnacles. Quadcopter 101, I hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out.